Let's begin first with the non-stop defining images that have been now coming in from Ukraine across the country right now. The first image is of the shelling that continues by the Russian forces to batter cities in Ukraine. The scary image on your screen right now captured from the Ukrainian city of Mykolaiv. Constant rocket shelling on the suburbs of the city and has hit residential buildings and private facilities. Back-to-back -back, uh, strikes by the Russian forces completely destroying the central Ukraine city in April. The visuals on your screen show aftermath of the Russian strikes. Devastation, debris, fire everywhere. And remember, this is severe damage to buildings while firefighters trying to rescue and relieve. Our defining image number three comes from Russia's offensive on Kyiv gets fierce with the use of attack drones in its assault now. Explosion taking place in Kyiv's neighborhood in Podil as a result of which the Sperbank's premises even caught fire. Russia's assault on cities continues in Kyiv. But amid this constant shelling, uh, the town of Volnovakha in eastern Ukraine, the drone footage caps captures the intensity of the destruction. Images of battered buildings, take a look at this, completely in ruins, the city now. Braving assaults by the Russian forces, Ukrainian officials have alleged that the mayor of the Melitopol city, Ivan Fedorov, has been kidnapped after he refused to cooperate with the Russian military occupying the city. President Zelensky says the kidnapping of the mayor of Melitopol is a war crime against democracy. This is a mega protest against the kidnapping of Melitopol mayor by the Russian forces. Thousands of demonstrators and residents of the city marching to the administration building to demand the release of Mayor Ivan Fedorov. Occupiers are trying to prevent the residents from coordinating. Remember, these are desperate war times. Thousands of Ukrainian civilians are boarding trains from the worst affected areas, trying to reach to safety as evacuation operation from Lviv continues. These images, remember, reflect what is the ground horrifying fallout of the war. Ukrainians' border remain flooded with stuck civilians. Now on your screens is the scary aftermath of uh, the bombing that has been caused by Russia. This is the town of Barashivka, 50 kilometers east of Kyiv. Destruction can be seen across the city as aggression turns fierce. Our defining image number five, nine is a destroyed village in Kharkiv's Yatskovka region showing the extension of destruction. What do you see? Just black plume of smoke, gutted buildings, completely burned homes and private properties, horrifying aftermath, ground reality in Ukraine right now. A frozen food storage warehouse was also not spared. It's caught fire in the Brovery district. The horrifying image on your screen is very close to the capital city, Kyiv. No casualties, fortunately, have been re reported right now, according to the preliminary data. Ukrainians are uniting to shield their country in full force. Civilians are gearing up as war intensifies. They're taking up arms, ammunition to launch a possible counter that they can against Russian troops, refusing, as they say, to bow down to Russia. Russia intensifies its attack in the capital city of Kyiv. Ukrainian soldiers and civilians are trying to fight back. This visual is one example of how doctors are treating war injuries sustained by soldiers or civilians in Ukraine. One soldier was adamant that Ukraine army will win. But remember, it is the time that is also right now very important. With each passing hour, the battle lines getting closer. Visual shows Ukrainian military fighting the Russian forces in a village near Kyiv. Video shows Ukrainian soldiers advancing, coordinating the operation while under heavy gunfire. This is the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant, which has been captured by the Russian troops as a military base now. Ukraine ministry has published this video with the Russian military equipment they are claiming on the site in front of the nuclear plant. 
but the effect is borne by the civilians. Toddlers to elderly, hundreds of civilians are taking shelters in metro stations, underground subways in the eastern Ukrainian city Kharkiv. Kharkiv has faced relentless bombardment from the Russian forces and is country's second largest city that has suffered some of the heaviest shelling. From Kharkiv now to Volnovakha, it has been completely destroyed. Take a look at this city. Non-stop bombardment can be heard and seen. According to some reports, Russian-backed separatists have captured the city.